Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about how to get your laser diodes out of these horrible little heat sinks they come in in the DVD burner and how to get them inside the Axis housing. Now this one I'm holding at the moment and just put down, you can't take it out. That's what's known as a closed diode. What we need is these ones. These are open diodes and you can take them out. If you take a closed diode out of its heat sink it doesn't work because it uses the heat sink as part of the body. Now what you want to do for this open diode First remove any scrappy bits of heatsink, so that's any excess glue you can see, that's the strange metal bit that was on top of this one. And simply take some wire cutters and snip away at the corners. You'll notice your diode has slight inserts where you can, well, attack it from there. So snip and you can see the heatsink's coming away and we've got a lot of glue off this time. Be very careful not to snip at the diode at all and you'll have to attack it quite a lot more so you'll be going through that quite a lot but eventually you'll snap down and the diode will come out whether you actually go through the heatsink or not that's dependent on how much glue is in the diode and how much well you attack it but if you say you've got a big heatsink like this you want to be very careful and use a junior hacksaw as I'm using and slightly saw down don't saw into the diode whatever you do you don't want to damage this diode so you saw down into the heatsink Till you've got just enough space then you want a bigger pair of wire cutters and just snip down on those and your diode will come out so we've got the heat sink in two halves here but the other half does come off the diode just got to pull it so now your diode is out we've got to get it into our axis housing but to, before we do that we've got to remove this silly ribbon they put on top now you can either desolder it and pull it off but nine times out of ten you can simply just pull it off. Don't force it, you don't want to break any of the pins on the diode. Just use a soldering iron and a solder sucker to remove all of the heat sink on that ribbon. And now we're going to put it inside our axis housing. Notice again this is a copper housing, I'll put the link for those in the description. But the first thing you want to do is get a vise and cover it in either a towel or some old bed sheets which I've got here, but you want to just cloth the vise. You want to make sure it's nice and soft, you don't want to damage any of the metalwork. Now take the two halves of the axis housing and turn the bottom half upside down so you've got the smaller hole on the other side. Now you want to press that around the pins of the diode, don't get any of the pins stuck in it obviously, and slowly tighten the vise. Obviously make sure your towel or whatever cloth you're using is out of the way first and slowly tighten it down. This will push the diode into place, you may need to put your hand in there to stop it moving around, but as you can see we'll just shut the diode inside the housing. So tighten it a little bit after that, but don't keep tightening it, obviously. So you can now see the diode is definitely in there. We're now going to take it out and have a look, and we can see our laser diode is inside our axis housing. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to 